All students deserve to be able to express their ideas and otherwise take part in classroom activities, regardless of their abilities. Obviously, this isn't always the case, as there are a number of disabilities or impairments that may hinder individuals from being able to easily participate in class. This is where assistive technology can help. Assistive technology is any product or service used to help people with disabilities function more independently, such as being able to improve physical or mental functioning, overcome impairments, or improve learning capacity. So whether you have a physically or otherwise impaired student in your class, chances are there are technologies that can help you make learning easier for him or her. Because such a wide assortment of assistive technologies exist, they are often grouped and referred to by categories. Additionally, there are many different ways of categorizing these products. For our purposes, the four categories we'll use are as follows. Communication, hearing and vision, computer access, and special education aids. Before we take a closer look at the four types of assistive technology we just mentioned, let's see if you can match them to their proper descriptions. Try this exercise, and then when you're ready, you can click Next to learn about the different types of assistive technology. The first category is communication aids. These are devices that can help individuals with speech or writing difficulties communicate their needs, feelings, and ideas. Augmentative and Alternative Communication AAC, products fall under this category. Examples range from simple, such as low-tech communication boards, to complex, such as speech synthesizers and word prediction software. Hearing and vision aids are products designed to assist hearing or visually impaired individuals. They include visual or tactile alerting systems, various amplification systems, screen readers, braille printers, and screen magnifiers. So, for instance, if you have students with significant vision problems, screen magnifiers or screen readers could make a remarkable difference when they use computers. Computer access aids, which help disabled individuals access and use computers, make up a third category. These products include modified keyboards, touch screens, various pointing devices, screen magnifiers, and speech recognition software. They can help students with physical disabilities participate with and feel more a part of the class. Special education aids cover individuals with cognitive disabilities, as well as English as a second language ESL students. They consist primarily of software and games that help individuals in the areas they have trouble with. For example, there is specialized software for dyslexic students, which is designed to help them read and learn printed material. As well, graphic organizers can help learning disabled students visually organize their ideas. On the teaching side, teachers can view special videos advising how to understand and teach special education students. Certainly, it's a good idea for schools to invest in assistive technologies to aid students with special needs. They have been shown to help such students achieve independent learning giving them confidence and allowing them to be more productive. Furthermore, it's important for disabled students to feel integrated into daily classroom activities and to be able to socialize with a wide range of peers. In fact, the International Society for Technology and Education, or ISTE, recognizes the importance of aiding the disabled and impaired. It covers this matter in its sixth standard for teachers. It covers this matter in its sixth standard for teachers, which includes using technology to assist students with varying abilities. 
so not only would students be helped, but teaching standards could be met by integrating assistive technologies into classrooms. Technology has the potential to make communication and participation possible for all students. Assisting students with compromised physical, mental, visual, hearing, or speech abilities is one of the more obvious ways in which technology integration brings benefits to the classroom. Here are some real-life examples of how the concepts discussed in this lesson could be used in a classroom, either as a teaching tool or an administrative aid.